This is gonna sound really corny, but do you guys wanna see a magic trick? Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ta-da! I don't know if that worked at all. Honestly, I'm so sorry. That was probably really embarrassing. Hi everybody, my name is Catherine and welcome to this channel. We have less than a week until Devil's Night, which is October 30th, and the only appropriate response to that is to read the Devil's Night series. I know what you're probably thinking, like, Catherine, don't you mean reread? No, I mean read. Um, I still have not read Nightfall yet, which I know, I know. That's really bad. But I have a good reason, okay? My reasoning is that I just love the series so much that I cannot finish it. That sounds really stupid, but if you know me, you know that I have a problem. When I enjoy something so much, I will not finish the series. I will not finish it because in my mind, if I don't finish it, it's never ended. That's why I have not read Nightfall. I've read Corrupt, Hideaway, Kill Switch. I've read Conclave, still have not read Nightfall, and still have not read Fire Night. Like I said, I'm just not ready to let them go. I love them so much. Like, are you kidding me? Look, I have a whole crew neck, okay? And one of my best friends in the entire world, she got me this little charm bracelet. It is so cute, and I don't know how to show you because the camera is not focusing on this, but it is a charm bracelet, and she got it for my birthday. And it has all of these charms that basically show, like, all the Devil's Night like items because we were just so obsessed with it. Like, are you kidding me? One, this gift was so, so sweet of her. And two, I am a Devil's Night stan. I am a fan. And I feel like when it comes to the Devil's Night series, you either really love it or you really hate it. I'm one of those people who really love it, clearly. So that is why I'm so excited to start reading Nightfall. Now this book is 727 pages, which is so long and so hefty, but I already know I'm gonna gobble this entire thing up. So we'll see how much I read. Also, this will be no spoilers. And if there are spoilers, I'll make sure to add a little warning beforehand. It is the next day now. I actually could not read yesterday because I had a couple of errands to run, but I'm reading right now and I'm already a couple pages in. And let me tell you, I love Emery Scott with my entire heart, my entire being, just like I knew I would because fun fact, I'm a big spoilers gal and I spoil a lot of the major events in Nightfall for me. I already knew that I would love her and just reading the part where she calls the four horsemen wannabe gangsters, it really just solidified my love for her. Guys, I reached the quote. I reached the quote. Also, my battery is about to die, so I'm gonna make this really fast, but I reached the quote and I'm gonna read it to you. It is said by my favorite character ever in this entire Devil's Night universe. And the quote goes, abuse can feel like love, starving people will eat anything. And let me tell you, I could write a whole essay on that one quote. When I saw this quote a long, long time ago, it made me want to buy the entire Devil's Night series right away. Fun fact, that's the quote that actually got me into the Devil's Night series. Of course, along with like the whole idea of Halloween and that thing, because I'm a big fan of Halloween, but I just had to share that quote because that quote is just so good and it will always have like a special place in my heart. I just read the first scene between Emery and Martin and let me tell you, I hate that man's gut. I can't think of a character I hate more. Actually, Scratch that. I hate Gabriel Torrance and Natalia as well, but Martin Scott is definitely up there. Just got out of the shower. I'm at the part where Will is tattooing Mr. Aiden, I think that's his name. And let me tell you, I do not approve of the way he's talking about my Emery Scott. Mm -mm. Will leaving the granola bar for Emery for young before. <laughs> that is all sweet. Every time it's a flashback scene and Damon's name pops up, it makes me want to reread Kill Switch for the third time. Please ignore the fact that I have retainers in right now, so I'm gonna have a really bad list. But I'm on page 160 out of 727, and I think I'm gonna call it a night right now because it is 3 in the morning. Let's see how much reading I could get done tomorrow. My goal is to finish by Devil's Night, but we'll see. So the next day, I'm back now from hanging out with my friends. Had a lovely morning, but now I'm reading Nightfall and I'm on chapter 10, which is Emery's point of view from nine years ago. And it's a flashback. And what I noticed is that in every single one of the Devil's Night books, I've always enjoyed the flashbacks a little more than the present scenes, but I still love the present scenes just as much, but the flashbacks just hit different. What genuinely makes me so sad is that Will thinks that all the occasional bruises and scrapes that Emery has is from building the gazebo or doing something amazing and it's, it's not it's not from that and i don't know why it's just that just hurts i've never understood bullies like emery is a work study student so she goes around the school and she helps clean up and prepare things and there's this girl Maisie voss who just threw coca-cola at emery because she thought she was the trash can like what i don't i hate bullies like that like why do you have nothing else to do with your life like poor emery but oh my god i 
think I think that she's gonna get what's coming to her because I see Will's name on the next page because my eyes like to skip around. <laughs> it's currently eight in the morning and I just got ready. My friends are about to pick me up and we're gonna go to an amusement park all day today to have fun during the day and then at night go to the fright night and I'm so excited for that. But I don't think I have any time to read Nightfall today. It's the 29th, it's a Sunday. And then tomorrow, which is actually Devil's Night, it's a Monday, I have work. So I won't be able to read either during the day until after work, which is around five. So now I'm like, wow. I was really ambitious giving myself such little time for such a fat book. I gave myself like four days, but I was busy like half of the time. This is like true devil night behavior. Like I'm going out, I'm having fun, I am going to fright nights, getting scared. Like I feel like this is a good excuse to not read the book. The things that I would do to be able to experience Devil's Night right now with the Four Horsemen, like I wish I was in Thunder Bay. But that being said, I hope you guys are having an amazing time right now. I hope you guys are having so much fun. Hope you guys are living it up, being wild, all the things, because it's Devil's Night and that's what you should be doing. By the time I post this, it's gonna be well past Devil's Night. So this is just me hoping that you had an amazing October 30th. But anyways, let's get back to reading Nightfall because I have not touched this baby since Saturday and it is Monday. I'm on chapter 13 it is emory's chapter in the present timeline just like a genuine question but does like emory have a bladder problem because i feel like every single time she gets scared she's about to pee herself here um where did it go i just lost it oh she goes here suddenly feeling like i was going to wet myself and i feel like every single flashback she's like about to pee herself I'm reading such a funny part right now and I have to share because Will just spoke in French and Emery was like, frankly, I'd been surprised he even spoke English. Figured him for someone who communicated solely in emojis. I don't know why, that just was so funny to me. I love this book so much. I just got to the part where Will was like, why are you so mean? And if you've read this book, you know that part. And let me tell you, I am hurt. I'm so hurt. I have been reading for the past three hours. This is how much I've read. I honestly can't tell if that's good progress or bad progress. But anyways, I am nearing the end of chapter 18. It is a flashback scene nine years ago. Emery and Will have just left Adventure Cove and they're on the bus right now. And if you read this book, you know exactly which scene I'm talking about because Will goes, come hell or high water, Emery Scott, Leah, that quote. Um, and I... I love this book so much. Honestly, what a great way to spend my devil's night. Aiden, Emery, and the snake, the scene in the garden shed, absolutely not. I think I would have started losing my marbles. Also, I posted some TikToks and I was getting comments on the sweatshirt. I got this sweatshirt from at the book meadow also this is a shameless plug so if you are not following my tiktok you definitely should um okay i'm embarrassing bye i have kill switch tabbed and every so often i'd go back and i reread some of the scenes in here and i just reread one of my favorite scenes ever which is damon teaching winter how to drive and then them going on the motorcycle ride and damon teaching winter what black feels like you know the fear the excitement like i just love them so much obviously if you could not tell damon and winter are my favorite devil's night couple but definitely will and emery are up there like winter has always been one of my favorite characters because i am her she is me like we are the exact same person but emery is definitely getting up there like i love her so much and i also love will as well and i love damon honestly i love all the characters in the devil's night universe one thing I love about Emery is just how observant she was in the flashback scenes. Like, she was there to witness all of the key Devil's Night character moments, like Kai and Banks at the confessions, and Winter and Damon with the motorcycle scene. She was there to witness all of these key moments, and I love it so much. But let me talk to you about something I do not love as much, and it is Alex. Like, I usually am a big Alex Palmer fan, but for some reason, she is getting on my nerves. I don't even know why. Like, you're telling me you were there for multiple days and you didn't say anything. Like, I understand the reason but like uh, I, I don't know I feel like I would be lying to you guys if I did not tell you that I have not touched this book since the middle of November and it is currently the middle of December I don't even know why I have not touched this book truly okay well okay actually one I fell into a little book slump and it's not because of nightfall at all. I just don't know why. I think I got busy at work and then like social life and balancing all these things at once. I just did not have time to read. And then I fell into a little book slump, then started reading on my Kindle for a bit. And then I don't know. I just, 
haven't picked up Nightfall since and so I blame the book slump but I also blame me loving the Devil's Night series so much because I did at one point look at it and I was like you know what I'm actually very far in and once I finish this I only have Fire Night and I'm done and so then I got a little worried but anyways I'm back now and I'm going to continue reading my goal is to probably finish this by the end of the week it is Sunday night and like I said I have this much left which I feel like it's doable you know what I love how this was supposed to be a devil's night reading vlog and it is like two months past devil's night but anyways um, I'm gonna read a little bit more I'll keep you guys updated I am currently at the part where it's like will Emmy and Alex seeing Misha and Ryan in nightfall really makes me want to reread punk 57 because fun fact I actually read punk 57 before I read the devil's night series and I don't remember it too too well because I read it like a long long time ago and so now I honestly want to reread punk 57 kai damon and will at the warehouse with martin scott i'm just saying that martin deserved it that's all i'm saying taylor's pinky i i feel that pain Ooh, ah. it was just revealed who brought emmy to black church and speechless is what i am except i'm not really but like at the same time i am I don't, I don't even know, but oh my god. I am so excited because the Four Horsemen just reunited and Rika Fane is here and oh my- I have been waiting for this moment. Where is my baby Winter? Where is Winter, Ashby? Um, here I am flipping the pages to find her. I hope I find her soon because- or I hope she's mentioned soon because she is my go-to girl. The train scene? Nothing like some friendship bonding. Oh my god, I cannot believe I just read that. That was honestly one of the cutest unconventional weddings ever. I loved it so much. Now, would I want that for my own wedding? Probably not, but this was <laughs> very cute for Nightfall. Also, I just wanted to say Athos. I... She's very smart for like, what, six? Like, was I even talking like that at six years old? I don't even know. The role of the villain is only determined by who is telling the story snaps 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 oh my god my book just closed and i didn't have a bookmark but anyway snaps because damon is out here having the best quotes out of the entire series so cute damon had been my savior on more than one occasion when life had proved there was so much gray i'm not tearing up but honestly i should be i have less than 10 percent left of nightfall and i'm so ready to finish it but at the same time i don't want to finish it but i'm gonna force myself to finish it because i have been reading this for way too long and i just want to like get to the end but at the same time i don't want to get to end because that means it's over and you guys see my dilemma here will grayson the third and water just do not mix together and he's always put in situations where there's water involved and honestly poor him a couple of things Damon, Emery, Gazebo, Carfax Room. I love their friendship so, so much. Like, they are probably one of my top friendships right beneath Will and Damon because Will and Damon, like, no one can beat them. But Emery and Damon are really up there, like, up there. And also Winter and Will, they're up there as well. I love this series so much. I'm telling you right now, I genuinely would do anything, anything for a second gen Devil's Night book. It's done. I finished it. I finished Nightfall by Penelope Douglas and I I don't even know what to say or what to think right now. I'm it's there's there's nothing up here. Um I kind of feel empty right now, but just know five out of five already. Five out of five. I'm going to download Fire Night as soon as possible. Fire Night is the next novella and it's also the last edition to the Devil's Night series. So I'm gonna download that, read it as soon as I can because I need to. I just need to. Um but I cannot believe I finished this. I I cannot believe I finished this. Um, I am probably gonna reread like very, very soon. I currently have Fire Night downloaded on my phone. I thought I'd do a little bit of reading. Fire Night is the novella that takes place after Nightfall, but before Nightfall's epilogue. Oh, okay. The first chapter is from Kai's point of view. Actually, wait, all the chapters are from one of the horsemen's point of view, so I'm actually really excited for that. Kai and Damon's little banter. Oh, I think it really shows their distinct personalities. I know I said this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I would do anything for a second generation's book. Like, can you imagine their children carrying on the Devil's Night traditions? Like, the things I would do for that. And the things I would do to live in Thunder Bay. Of course, the most wholesome chapter so far is literally Damon's chapter. Oh, Emery and Will. Oh my god, that took a big turn. Oh my god. What I love in Michael's chapter, how they're literally searching for these kids, okay? They're all panicking and they need to speed and like do whatever they need to do. And then suddenly he's like, wait, I'm gonna go get my wife? Like, <laughs> are you kidding me? I don't know, maybe I just think that's really funny. Like I understand like him and Rika, you know, just like that. But I just think it's so hilarious how like we are in like 
a really frantic moment and they are they need to rush they need to hurry but he's just like wait everybody pause i'm gonna go get my wife octavia is literally a mini daemon honestly madden is also a little daemon as well okay i've been standing like way too long i'm starting to get a little tired the epilogue of fire knight is from madden's point of view oh, i'm actually excited let me see this oh the carfax room i finished it it was a great novella. My legs are actually tired. I was alternating between standing and sitting. I would give this a 4 out of 5. I don't know which one I like better, which novella I like better, because I do like Conclave, but I also do like Fire Knight. I don't know. I think what I'm going to do, though, is actually think about all my Devil's Knights book and then think of the rankings. Now that I've finished all of the books and all of the novellas, I want to rank them and do a little debrief. So I might do that a little bit later. I have all four books with me right now and we're gonna do a discussion. We're gonna do a debrief, we're gonna do some rankings, we're gonna have some fun because I finally finished all four of the books and I am ready to talk about it. And I'm so sorry if you're tired of listening to me talk because let me tell you, I'm about to talk for another 10 more minutes. I am so sorry, but I just love rambling and especially now that I finished the entire series, I have a lot to say. But first and foremost, I'm sorry if I already mentioned this, but I'm going to mention it again because I feel like it's important, but definitely check all the warnings before you go ahead and read any of these books. This entire universe talks about a lot of different topics that I think readers should kind of know before they dive into this universe. So definitely read all the warnings. And the next thing that I wanted to mention is that everything I say is just my opinion. You can agree with me, you can disagree with me, that is totally okay. But just know that I am just stating an opinion and it is not a fact. Just a quick recap, Corrupt is the first book of the series. It follows Michael and Rika. Then there's Hideaway, which follows Kai and Banks. Afterwards, it's Kill Switch, which follows Damon and Winter. Then there's a novella in between called Conclave, which I do not have. Afterwards, it is Nightfall, which follows Will and Emery. And then last but not least, it's Fire Knight which is the last addition to the Devil's Night series. I thought we'd start off by doing a couple of rankings, so let's start off by doing my favorite book and my least favorite book. My favorite book of the series, right here, number three, Kill Switch. Third book of the series and my favorite one out of all of them, followed by Nightfall. Afterward, it is actually Corrupt, which is the first book of the series, and then it is Hideaway. Not saying that I did not like Hideaway at all, but I'm just saying that I like the plot of the other ones a little bit more. Now let's also rank the couples. Number one, Damon and Winter. We should not be shocked by this. Afterwards, Will and Emery. Then, Father Kai and Mommy Banks. And then last but not least, Michael and Rika. Now, if we're gonna rank the couples, we gotta also rank them individually. So let's talk about my favorite cowgirl, and it is Winter Ashby. I think I mentioned it already, but Winter Ashby is me. I am Winter Ashby. We are the exact same person. I read her point of view, and I related to everything that she said. So, my number one. I'm a little biased. My number two, Emery Scott. Number three, Miss Banks. And number four, Rika! Now in terms of my favorite horseman, number one, Damon, of course. I'm pretty sure he and Will are the top two horsemen that everybody chooses. So yeah, Damon number one, Will number two, number three, Kai, number four, Michael. Now that we have the rankings out of the way, let's do a debrief on all the books and let's have some discussions. Now, so far I try to do a no spoilers video, but I will say and warn you right now that there will be spoilers because that's the only way I could have a discussion about all these books. I will have to say a couple of spoilers. So the first thing I want to start off with is the Damon, Rika, and Banks sibling relationship. I'm going to be honest. It's not that I hated it, but it's more of... I didn't think it was that necessary. In my opinion, I just feel like after Rika was introduced as being Damon's sibling, all the attention was just focused on her rather than Banks. And I understand that Banks is living with Kai now. She is thriving. She loves her life. But I just feel like Damon and Rika, that was just the center of attention. There was no more focus on Damon and Banks' relationship, and I wish I saw more of that. My camera is about to die. I am, I'm going to rush. Next thing I wanted to mention, Alex and Aiden. I did not like Alex and Aiden that much. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I did not really see the love there. I I feel like it's just lust. I don't, I, I don't agree with that couple. Sorry. Next thing in Conclave, Rika gave Damon's baby to their mom. Even though Damon said no, I think that's completely wrong. If someone says no to giving their child to someone else, don't do it. Like don't, I don't know. I saw her reasoning. Yeah, sure. But mm, no. Now, each one of these books follows the horsemen, but let me tell you, this entire series, it was just a Damon and Rika series. All four of the books, it didn't matter if it was their book or not, it just focused so much on Damon and Rika. Not that I'm complaining. Like, I love Damon, I love Rika, but I feel like this entire, like this entire universe, it was just the Damon and Rika show. Which, like I said, not complaining, but just something I wanted to point out. Oh! Don't ruin my books. Okay, now let's talk about my favorite scenes from each one of these books. In Corrupt, it was actually all of the past scenes, especially the ones where Rika was wreaking havoc with everybody on Devil's Night. I really, really enjoyed reading it. I felt that thrill. 
So, all the past scenes where she's like actually doing all the Devil's Night activities, they were my favorite scenes. This one, we should not be surprised that it's like the confession scene, like the confessional scenes in the bell tower. I like the past scenes in this one more than the present scenes as well. Kill switch, I have a lot. The motorcycle scene, the car scene. I liked when he built her the fountain. In Nightfall, my favorite ones were all the movie theater scenes. How rude. My camera did not even let me finish before it died on me. To wrap this up, I rated all these books a 5 out of 5. I rate solely based on how I'm feeling and after I read all these books, I was on cloud 9. So, 5 out of 5. I'm in the middle of editing right now and I realized I forgot to mention something in my little hurried conclusion before my camera died again and it is why I love the Devil's Night series as much as I do. You've been listening to me talk about how much I love it but I never gave you the reason why. And like I said, I know that this series may not be everybody's cup of tea but it is my cup of tea. And I think it's because growing up, I was kind kind of sheltered in a way. My head was always buried in some type of book. I was doing some extracurricular activities. And by books, I don't mean those type of books. I mean those like sturdy school textbooks. I was a very studious kid growing up and I honestly still am a very studious person, but I've always secretly craved that adventure and that thrill. And the beauty of reading books is that you get to experience thousands of lives that are not your own. And so when I picked up the Devil's Night series and it had this adventure and it had this thrill, it kind of fulfilled a part of me that always secretly craved it, but never got to experience it. Does that make sense i hope i'm making sense but that is the reason why i love the series as much as i do i love all the adventure i love the thrill it gave me that and it gave me so much more so this book series will always have a special place in my heart okay my camera's flashing red at me i think it's about to die soon so i'm gonna make this really fast but thank you so so much for watching this video if you made it this far i appreciate you so much and i also applaud you because i know i ramble quite a bit definitely check out the warnings before you dive into this series but if you've already read it feel free to leave your opinions and thoughts in the comments down below or even on my socials which will be linked in the description i had such an amazing time reading this entire series and i hope you enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you so so much again for watching and i hope to see you in the next video bye